they are centers in the northern part of this country where the second paper sometimes is tampered with. And this emphasizes the need for at least two armed policemen to ensure that one of those policemen is constantly with the examination. We are Kenyans and let's not pretend that we, are, we don't know what can happen to the integrity of this examination. Up to now, we are firmly in control but in order to, be, to continue to be firmly in control, then we must be extra vigilant. We are also aware that uh, people are also trying to peddle fake papers and the gullible uh, center managers are engaging them. And we are also aware that there are attempts still to get people to come and sit examinations. The integrity of the second paper is going to be our focus. Let me warn those who want to destroy our children, especially in the refugee camps, where they think that they have unfettered access to do whatever they want, that we shall tell in the event that you succeed to do something that is not reasonable, our girl and teachers who mark these papers will find out and will have condemned these children for no good reason at all. So rather than just doing your work, stop spending so much energy. Stop spending so much energy in trying to destroy the integrity of the exam as far as the small group of children you have are there. I would want to challenge and charge all the monitors, that they are not flower girls. They are supposed to be actively monitoring, assuming that everybody <laughs> is not trusted, so that uh, we, we continue to, to maintain the integrity of the, of the examination. As it is now, the government is already spending too much money on the monitors, and it is not your duty to just go and be present at a school. You better check and confirm. Nobody must have, and I repeat, nobody should have access to the examination halls, including the centre managers, unless there's a very good reason. Because even if, for example, they open the second paper and organise a group to do it somewhere else, those answers will still have to be brought back to the students. So ensure that every child has no phone. And any child that is found with a phone, can we for now take the phone and leave the child to complete the exam? That is what the president has ordered. In the past, we would have just taken the child out. But for now, I'm also told that there are a few children who may still be having phones because I can't understand how you can get fake materials back into the centers. As far as the, the primary school uh, exam is concerned, we are proceeding well. We are now at 40%. And I think as we move along, we shall be briefing you.